Good morning, Guardians! Once again, everyone's favorite gamer here is just for your Omega. I'm gonna allow it to say. It's time for another Arms Day loadout. Once again, we're here at the tower, right here with the gunsmith, Mr. Banshee44 himself. And we're here to see what he has brought us this week for Arms Day loadout. Let's check out the inventory. And I can't believe this is the last. Arms Day Loadout 2016. <clears throat> 2017. Hopefully they bring better weapons. And probably more. But excuse me. I have fallen a little bit. <laughs> On the sixth side again. Got another cold. But bear with me. First up we got the Soros JLB 47 Rocket Launcher. Let's check out the perks. Alright, we got aggressive launch with soft launch and hard launch. Check out that velocity increase, but you lose in blast radius. Alright, this one comes with single point sling, speed reload, cluster bombs, javelin, and lightweight. Not bad with javelin and cluster bombs. With hard launch, you get a good increase in velocity. That's always one of the main... Or actually, let me, let me say this real quick. Three points of a good rocket launcher is... Increased blast radius, increased velocity, and having one of those magical perks like grenaded horseshoes, tracking, and maybe cluster bomb because you want to get the maximum AOE, area effect with that blast radius. But so far this one has a few but not all three to get that magic rocket launcher. <laughs> Alright, let's check out rank 2. We got aggressive launch, linear compensator, hard launch, increase the velocity. We got heavy payload. That's a good one. That's a plus perk. Flower Magwell got tracking and javelin. This is looking pretty good. Rocking the javelin with the tracking, blast radius, and you can really have a good rocket launcher. Similar to the one we had last week, but that one didn't have tracking. I think the one from last week had tripod. It had a almost increase or almost completely increase of blast radius and velocity. Well, number two is looking pretty good. Let's see the rank three. We got warhead. We got smart drift control, counter mask, Heavy Palo, Fleur Magwell, who's next? Perfect Balance, Lightweight. No, that one won't do. Out of all three rocket launchers, rank two is the closest thing to like a god roll rocket launcher. I would definitely pick rank two. Tracking, Javelin. Let's take another look. We got Javelin, Tracking, Heavy Payload, and Hard Launch. Increased Velocity, we got the Increased Payload, Tracking, and more Velocity. That's a win-win. So highly recommend Rank 2 for the Soros JLB-47. Next up we got the Soros DSI-43 Scout Rifle. Let's check out Rank 1. And we remember, not just the perks that makes the weapon great. It's also the sights. And everybody knows I'm a big fan of the SPO-28. That's one of my highly recommended ones on any Soros rifle. That's what, like, that's what, on my checklist, that's the number one it has to have or something close to it. And this one does not have it. This one has SLO-12, SPO-26, and SRO-41. This one also comes with Hammer Forge, Feather Mag, Range Finder, Snapshot, and Reinforced Barrel. It has, <coughs> it has so many perks to max out the range, but no stability. Seriously, let's check, check it out. You lose stability with Reinforced Barrel, but you got Range Finder and Hammer Forge. You, God damn, this is a dirty, dirty, dirty scout rifle. But let's check out rank 2. SLO 12 with the SPO 26. SRO 41 again. This one comes with high caliber rounds and pendage magazine. Take a knee. Snapshot. Rifle barrel once again. Nothing for stability. I'm looking for stability with these. 
Rage is not bad. But you, I, I like to have a Rage, a Stability, and a Damage Perk all in one. Or not all in one, but all in one rifle. Let's check out rank 3. We got SLL 12 again. Alright, I'm getting a little excited here. We got SPL 28. That's a good sign. Get that off the checklist. SRO 41. We got the freaking improved target acquisition. This is always a bonus for any scout. Or any of the Soros rifles anyway. We got perfect balance. There's our, our freaking stability right there. Perfect balance. Feather mag. Range finder. Speed reload. And rifle barrel. <laughs> we got rifle barrel with range finder, so range will be out the ass. And we get a little bit of stability from perfect balance. And a little bit of improved target acquisition. This is going to be a daily scout rifle. Out of all three of the Searles DSI's 43's, highly recommend rank 3. Grab that before it's gone. Alright, next up we have the Tunella SR4 Scout Rifle. Let's check out the perks. We got a Candle IS-2 with a Flash HS-4, Impulse MS-2. So we got Replenish, Quick Draw, Casket Mag, Grenadier, and Danger Close. No, none of them are complimentary. Alright, rank 2, we got the Sparks, we got the Torch, Torch is pretty a good sight, that one's similar to the SBO-28 with the improved target acquisition. Impulse, alright, we got Life Support, Snapshot, Feather Mag, one, Army of One, and Danger Close. Close, but no. It's like, nothing gives it about range or stability. No, no, no. Rank 3, please let there be a good roll. Candle IS-2, Torch, we get improved target acquisition. Impulse. Alright, alright, alright. We got Triple Tap with Extended Mag or Small Bore. That is pretty nice. Take advantage of that Triple Tap with Extended Mag or get that boost in range of stability. But lose a couple of rounds. And of course, you got Army of One and Underdog. You know what? This is a, actually a great PvE scout rifle, especially for boss encounters with the triple tap. And you roll with Extended May, you can really get the get the triple tap going. I may hold on. I'm I'm definitely gonna pick this. This is like out of all of them, this is the best one to pick. But, I may use this and do a new video, I was hoping to do these on Thursdays, call uh, a new weapon or a new video series I want to do, like field tests uh, Thursdays or something like that, and take these weapons that I, highly, or that I recommend and just load them up, use them and test them out to so see how great they are. Because so, there's so many to pick, I don't have enough time to test them all. But definitely, definitely going to pick this one. Highly recommend rank 3. How's the, weight? the weight's pretty well. Alright, let's take this moment to transition to my Warlock, which is holding the other two weapons. I'll take this moment and ask all my freaking subscribers out there on YouTube Everybody who's watching me live on Twitch streaming this right now, I like to say thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. If you like what you see, please, please feel free to leave a like, especially leave a comment, because I want to know what you guys want me to do. There's a new year coming up. <laughs> Next week's the new year, 2017. And I want to try and bring daily videos. And something more. But I need you guys to tell me where to go from there.
What would you guys like to see? Once again, you guys on YouTube, please like, share, leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you can get more of this beautiful content. The quick little little note. Let's see if I still have the bounty on my character. This one, the simply perfect, uh, simply perfect uh, elite uh, weekly bounty. I learned it's so much confusing with between me and my friends. Yourself has to, or it's not the whole fire team that needs to uh, to gain the fall. It's it's just yourself. A lot of confusion with that because it said uh, without any of your members of your fire team, we always thought if one got knocked out, that was it. But apparently, I survived a few and got the the medal for myself. I thought it was gonna be a medal for the whole team for the whole team surviving without being taken out. Similar to the look, no ghost, but you just have to do it three times. All right, all right, all right. About to get more lucky. I got some cast. You've come to the right place. All right, all right. We got the Iofi Aurora D sniper rifle. Let's check out rank one. We got the ATB long range sights with the Raptor sights. We got Rodeo, partial refund, perfect balance, armor piercing, injection mold. Uh, first one out the gate. No, no, no. One thing good on here is perfect balance. <sighs> All right, rank two. We got long range and Raptor sights again. We got Take a Knee, performance bonus is not bad. We got Perfect Balance, Armor Piercing, and Brace Frame. So far the only thing that's good on this is the Brace Frame. This is Take a Knee. Ooh, actually that's actually a good compliment. Brace Frame with Take a Knee, performance bonus. This one seems semi-decent. Get that stability increase. All right, rank three scout sights with the uh, ATD Raptor. This one comes with Private Eye, spray and play, high caliber rounds, snapshot, appendage magazine. Urgh. We're doing so good with the first three weapons. Why do these have to be like, oh, the only one that's like complement each other with the perks is rank two with brace frame with a take a knee and performance bonus this one seems like a decent close to pretty pretty okay or uh, what do I want to say? this will be a great pve weapon yeah chance to get some uh, extra ammo with performance bonus if you combine brace frame and take a knee <laughs> your accuracy stability will be uh, unbelievable Definitely recommend for the uh, Iofi Aurora D sniper rifle of rank 2. Pick that up today. Alright, one of my favorite ones. The Airene RR4 sniper rifle. Looks like we got some decent ones. I'll probably say that jumping the gun a little too quick. Alright, we got the Curvo SS2 shites and the Falcon SS1s. I wish they had better pronouncing names all right this one comes with luck in the chamber snapshot rifle barrel battle runner and eye of the storm not bad with luck in the chamber hell if it had small board drop the magazine from four to three that would be better one out of three instead of one out of four for that lucky shot All 
Alright, let's see. Rank 2. We got the Corvo and the Aquila Sights. This one comes with Firefly. What a good, the good, awesome perks to have. Snapshot, Injection Mold, Replenish, and Mulligan. Not that... You do gain a little bit of stability. Firefly stability. Replenish, uh, Mulligan. Mulligan is probably better than Replenish. Uh, I wish it had more stability, like a Brace Frame or Handlate Stock. Well, let's check out rank 3. It's going to be a decent one in here. Corval Sights with the Falcon Sights. Firefly, Quick Draw, and Late Stock. There's our stability. Battle Runner and Eye of the Storm. Huh. Well, it depends. I really like Firefly, and I really like this one that has highlight stock, even though it takes a, a little bit of penalty off of range. I'll still probably pick this up and test it out. Battle Runner and Eye of the Storm. I know when I'm counter sniping, I'm getting shot the hell up, but I, the lower my health gets, the more accurate the shots become. That's a bonus. Battle Runner. If you could get the headshot, if you're, if you're a sniper that loves. Snipe and move, snipe and move. This is perfect with Battle Runner. It also pretty well for PvP with Eye of the Storm and Battle Runner. Handlight stock, it's a good bonus. Actually, I'm probably I would probably recommend rank three. Out of all of these, rank three seems the best. Because it has that good boost from Handlight Stock for stability. You really need stability with a sniper. Alright, field test weapon. We got an auto rifle to use the crucible. And a hand cannon to use on the crucible. Not bad. We also have another hand cannon to get double kills in PvE. And precision shots with another hand cannon in PvE. And a sniper rifle with double kills in PvE. Oh, okay. Two crucible weapons and three in PvE. Not bad. Not bad at all. But let's check out the weapons orders for next week. We got the Suros DSI 43 Scout Rifle. We have the Amala Katana. K I always have trouble pronouncing this one. Kotaius SR4 Scout Rifle. We got the Kuma Tatak uh, Hand Cannon from uh, Amala as well. We got the Strongbow Shotgun. We got the Aofi Aurora D sniper rifle. Not bad. Not bad at all. Come see me if there's any problems. Well, we reviewed our guns. We got our weapons from Banshee. Nasty. There's that time in the video. Well, this concludes this week's Arms Day loadout. Catch you, Guardians, next time in the new year. Enjoy your holiday. Sir.